Hey guys, I want to share a word for you. It's, this word is for two specific groups of people. These groups will overlap, so you might say, yes, that's me, yes, that's me. But this word is for those of you who are the part of the Lord's uh, rising army in this hour. And what I mean is that you haven't just given your yes to Jesus Christ for salvation, but that you've actually given him your life and you've given over all of yourself. In these past years, the Lord has been preparing you and purifying you, and you've allowed him to take you through that process of stripping away of anything that would weigh you down from entering into the promises of God, entering into the call of God on your life. And so that, that excludes the lukewarm, the compromise, but it includes those who have fully given themselves over and said, yes, to the Lord in this hour. And it's not too late to be one of those who says, yes, Lord, I'm ready. Let me be one of your uh, warriors, your rising warriors. And so this word is for you. And it's also for those who you know that the Lord has sent you ahead or led you to um, led you out of your, out of Egypt, out of bondage and, and into the promised land. You're looking over into your promised land in this season. You're saying, I'm about to possess it. I'm crossing over. But you know that you're not doing it just for you. You know that you're doing it as a legacy. You're doing it for the generations to come. You're doing it for those who um, need needed to be shown the way how to exit out of uh, Egypt into the promised land. They needed to see what what that looked like, and so the Lord has used your life to forge a path. And there's a pioneer anointing on you. And many of you, those two groups, those two categories overlap, and you'd say, "Yes, I am both of those things." And so this word is really going to resonate with you. And what the Lord was saying to me, He was speaking to me out of the Book of Joshua. He led me to the Book of Joshua this month for it, the crossing over of the Israelites into the promised land that they had waited many years for. And right as they're about to cross over, Joshua gives them a, a word of uh, direction. And this, I believe, is the word of the Lord right now for those of you who are those pioneers or those rising warriors who are all in with the Lord. Joshua tells the people that you, the Lord is giving you your promised land. You are crossing over to possess. It is already yours. You just need to obey and cross over. And you're going to fight and remove those who are standing on your land. But you're not going to rest until and, and settle down and, and, you know, put your feet up on your promised land until you see that those who are coming behind you have also taken possession of their land and defeated their giants. So there's an assignment on you as, as that leader, that one who has forged a way out of Egypt into the promised land, and you know that you have an influence, there's those who are following you. As that leader, you have to hang on a little longer, even once you've possessed your land, even once you're standing on the promise and saying yes, because those who are coming behind you who uh, are following that path and watching you fight those battles, those brothers, those um, those friends, those people in ministry, those people in the workplace that you're leading um, out into the promised land, they are going to need you to do battle with them. And, and then um, you can finally rest once they have also possessed their land. And this comes out of Joshua 1. Verse 15, it says, until the Lord gives rest to your brothers as he has to you, and they also take possession of the land that the Lord your God is giving them, then you shall return to the land of your possession and shall possess it. So I believe that um, not just in the natural, but in the spirit realm, there is a crossing over into the promises of the Lord, and you you might, because you've battled so hard and so long for many years, you, you are ready to just sit down in your promised land and rest a while. But the Lord is saying that you're crossing over, you're possessing, and then you're not going to completely settle down and rest until you see that those who are following you, who might need your assistance in intercession or in encouragement or in prophesying or 
um, speaking truth over you might need you're going to need to continue to do that until you see those who the Lord has um, put in your path to follow you have taken possession of their land as well and this is the generations to follow you but this is also those who you have influence over who are watching you and you are leading them out of Egypt into their promised land and the Lord also took me to Joshua chapter 4 where there's a similar message and this in this uh, passage it talks about how the the priests of the Lord those who carried the ark of the presence of God uh, went into the Jordan first and as they crossed as they their feet touched the water the Jordan ceased flowing it was held up just like the Red Sea that so there was dry land for them to cross over and but as the priests crossed over they didn't just cross over and keep going they stood in the middle of the river the dry river and they held the presence of God there. They stood firm and held their ground until all the people had crossed over. And so for those of you who are leaders in this hour, who um, the Lord has sent you ahead or given you an anointing to forge a path for others to follow, you are like those priests who, because you carry the anointing and that, that presence of God, you have been purified and gone through the fires yourself. You carry that presence and power of God that is allowing uh, the people, and even in, in the on a grander scale, it's allowing the nation to cross over on a national level because of those, those warriors who have... Uh, prayed, interceded, and held the line. You are the you are those people that are standing, but you have to stay standing while everyone who is coming is going to cross over. There's a standing your ground. There is a staying in battle and staying firm until all those who are meant to follow have crossed over. And that is the message that the Lord wanted me to release. It is a word of encouragement. I pray that you would be given um, just extra strength extra vigor and um and the courage and the energy that you need um because i know many of you are exhausted but as you see uh you cross into your promises and you see those promises starting to manifest uh remember that those who are following you you are like those priests who stood in the middle of the river until they crossed over and reached the other side and you're going to stand firm on their behalf even though you're going ahead of them you're going to wait for them to cross over before you can rest and there's a, a authority but there's a there's an honor but there's also a responsibility with that anointing that you carry that you carry the presence of God you carry the power of God you have that history already of being tested in the wilderness and having passed the test and because of that you carry that authority you have the responsibility to make sure all the people meant to follow you and cross over are crossed over and so let the Lord lead you into intercession lead you into prophesying what he gives you over those who are going behind you um, who are coming behind you uh, to speak truth to speak wisdom to speak the word of the Lord to continue steadfast not just for your own sake but for those who are coming up behind you and who you have gone ahead for just like the priests and just like the mighty men in the army of God so be encouraged today I bless you with uh, strength with energy and with um, revived um, spiritual uh, refreshment as you cross over I just want to bless you with that so that you might stand in the river until all those coming behind you have crossed over